Okay, today's video, I just wanted to go through my full process of editing a photo for the laser. This was some photos we took at the zoo. This is one of my wife's pictures. You got a nice one of this eagle. And I wanted to do that. I just wanted to show how I do it. If you use Lightroom, you can actually, you know, go through these different black and whites and check it out. But I'm going to do it on uh, Photoshop. But I just wanted to show, because you can see there, even with the highlights, when I drop these highlights down, how much more like detail comes back in the feathers and everything like this is all going to be shown on the laser if it's like that you know like it's only going to show these little dark areas so really you want as much contrast you know in there as possible as well i'm even going to turn the contrast up a little bit i see a little bit dark areas so i'm just going to turn the shadows up a bit not too much because it's going to start taking away the uh, detail i'm going to turn up the clarity and turn up the texture until i'm happy all right, all I'm going to do now is just crop it in a bit because all I want really is the head. So I'm just going to crop this in. Okay, so now that's cropped. I'm going to right click it, go to edit in Photoshop. Okay, so once it loads into Photoshop, hopefully select subject that the pen tool's better, but because this is pretty well separated from the background, it should do a pretty good job. So I'm going to click select the mask and then select subject. I'm just gonna try and find the subject. I'm gonna click refine here. You can see there it took away some of the, you know, extra bits. If you wanna further refine the hair, you click on that tool there. And then you can just, these little spots that are left behind, you can just touch them out. Okay, so I'm gonna say okay at that. I'm gonna control and C to copy, control and V to paste, turn the bottom layer off. I'm going to make a mask, and on that mask, whatever you draw in black, so I'm just go on the brush tool, whatever you draw in black is going to rub out, so I'm just going to rub that little, little bit of hair out on the top there. Okay, so now I want to just cut the, just mainly these, <coughs> mainly the white feathers, that's what I'm going to try and go with, so I'm just going to skip through this and quickly cut this out. Okay, because this is the background's already gone here. I can just cut around this like this. Right click, make selection, no pixels, and then copy and paste. Turn this one off. So now with this one, duplicate it three times. I'm going to press Control and I to invert it. Change the blending mode to vivid light. Go filter, blur, garden blur. Then you just want a nice outline. Control and click the layer below, then press Control and G to group them two together. Then overlay, and I'm going to zoom in here just to show the difference there. So that's without, and then that's with adding what I just did. So you can see it sharpens it up a lot. Next thing I would do is turn it to black and white. There's a few ways you can do it, but I like this way. Just use an adjustment layer, go to black and white. With this black and white, you can slide these sliders and you can see, you know, basically the details change. So I'm going to leave that quite bright. What you don't want is really dark areas like this area here. Would really just, you know, not burn well. So you just want to make sure you know that it's got the detail there but it's you know there's not too much lost in the darks you see with that green it does a little bit in the eye i'm going to bring that up yeah the blue is a bit on the feathers and now this blue you can see if i turn it down it kind of gives quite a bit more contrast in the feathers there so I'm going to take that right down, but that is done really, so I'm going to say File, Export, Save for Web, name it what you want, and Save, save it to my desktop, Eagle, Save, now, go to Image R, so yeah, just open your Eagle photo up and allow it to load, and you can see there, now it's loaded in here, I'm going to go to Resize, I'm not sure exactly what size my piece of wood I've got out there is. I think it's about 6x6, six six, I believe. I like to do 260 dots per inch. Okay. 
you know your converted image so you can check everything's all right then you want to go to material and if you've got a co2 laser like i have click co2 and you've got a few choices the wood one actually you know i'm always happy with it so i'm just going to click the wood and say okay but you can see on the top of the head there because it was quite bright it lost a lot of detail and you can mess with settings over this side or the other thing you can do is in Photoshop, I'll quickly show you. So in Photoshop, you go to open a new layer, go to edit, to fill, change this to 50% gray, say okay. Change the blending mode to overlay. Yeah, so as you start to go over it with this, with the black, you can see it's starting to bring some detail back. And then if you press X, if you hit something with a Y, it'll actually brighten it up more so it might see in your eye or anywhere else where you might be a little bit dark. Okay, so now I've got to get rid of all this other grey because otherwise that is going to etch. So you just hold control and click one of your cutouts and then click mask. So now you've still got your adjustments but you haven't got the outside so quickly again I'm just going to say file save for web and there's that one loaded resize and you can see now there is detail up there because I went back and you you know because I went back and changed that and then I'm going to color fill it with black into these grooves so yeah that's going to be the design and then I'm going to go out and put that on the laser okay so it's sent over to the machine I'm going to press file to see it pop up there enter now it'll pop up over this side and I'm going to check my laser bed make sure there's nothing in there it's framed it there which is where it stopped I just thought I'll go through the whole process this time in case you know very new to the laser so I'm going to put my piece of wood in there you can see at the moment that's going to hit the head so I want to go down with the laser bed just by pressing the down button. Slide it under there. For engraving, I like to use a little bit more than the block what they gave you. So add about another millimetre on top. That's what I do personally, but you should do some tests and see what you, you know, how you like it. Then I'm just going to line it up with this corner, frame it. I do have a smaller piece here. It might just fit on this. Yeah, and now you can just, you know, line it to where you want it. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, I've just got a cloth and a little bit of water just to wipe off. I'll just show you. It don't look like much, but... And then you don't have to be any good at painting. All I do is just put a blob of paint on it and then take something and just basically squeeze it out over there. Make sure you get into all the gaps. <clears throat> yep, so I'm gonna leave that 20 or 30 minutes to dry and then I'll come back and wipe it off. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. This has just got a tiny little drop of water on it. Just enough basically to cover my fingers. Just gonna see how that goes. Yeah, just want to give it a real good rub, make sure you got off all the excess, what is on there. And now that's looking pretty good. Yeah, you can see, does a nice job, nice bit of detail. And that's three quarter inch. I believe it's either called melamine or formica. But yeah, it's about $60 for a four, four foot by eight foot sheet. And maybe a little bit more but it's pretty heavy if you're doing it on your own you know like it's quite heavy to move them boards so you might have to find someone to give you a hand to move them and be handy okay so thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i'll put out another video as soon as possible